Full Dome comes from a uh, from the planetarium world. Uh, traditionally, planetariums uh, used opto mechanical projectors that projected star fields as pinpricks of light. But in this modern era, much like everything else, planetariums are going digital. And as planetariums have gone digital, uh, the content that they can play becomes entirely more flexible. And there's a small movement around the world of people who are interested in these immersive spaces. Uh, it's also had a big push uh, from the world of VR because there is a lot of parallels between the way content is made for VR and for Dome. So this dome is uh, an 18 meter geodesic dome. Um, and I, 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 one of the things about this dome is it's, it's very strong. Uh, it's very rigid. Uh, it's a self-supporting structure. It can also, it's load bearing. So we've hung like uh, 1.6 tons of uh, PA o o o directly off the structure in the past. Um, it's, uh, it's really been designed as a touring structure. Um, a lot of domes over about 12 meters, uh, which is you know sort of 35 or 40 foot in diameter, uh, you start needing cranes and other heavy equipment to build it. Whereas one of the main features of this dome was that uh, it can all be built using uh, an access tower. So it, it, it means that we can go to places where you know you, you don't have access to take cranes on site. So it, 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 it can basically be put up anywhere in a field or what have you. You know another thing about it is it all packs down very small. This this great big dome uh, can fit into a 20 foot shipping container which, uh, you know, it lives in there, which means it's kind of ready to be uh, sent worldwide by road or by boat. So what we have is six uh, super bright 20,000 lumen Panasonic projectors, um, creating a single image coverage over a 180 degree hemispherical screen. We use the Avalites AI media server. We have a custom built rack that we put together specifically for doing dome projects. It's two eight output machines, uh, a main and a spare. We have a, a matrix and a UPS all in the rack. And then we um, use a camera-based calibration system. So rather than mapping and warping the projectors onto the dome by hand, we use the camera system, which means our setup is super quick. Once everything's, once projectors are on and all, all the connections are made, we can map the dome in about 20 minutes. Doing that by hand used to take more like a day, possibly even two in some cases. So this is a, a huge improvement. And the quality of the blends and the warping that are produced by the camera calibration system are outstanding. It would be impossible by human eye alone. The great thing about the Dome is that it replicates the VR experience that so many of our clients are looking for, but without any of the social restrictions that come with wearing a headset, which effectively acts as a sensory vacuum. You can experience the Dome with up to a thousand other people if it's a party style event or with deck chairs about 250, and you could enjoy it as part of a larger part of experiential activity. Then from a creative point of view, what we have is a, a very unique experience that uh, your audience is unlikely to have ever seen before.